Welcome to this evening yoga practice where you can come as you are. Maybe you're wearing yoga clothes. Maybe you've decided just to wear loose fitting clothes. That's great. Nothing too strenuous at all here. Let's begin lying on our bellies. Our hands are going to be underneath our forehead. And you're just going to get connected with the front body with the earth. Find your breath moving in and out through your nose. State to yourself your intentions for this practice. Why did you choose? An asana practice right now, empowering yourself, making this practice your own. Bring your arms down by your side, forehead on the ground. Bring your attention to your pelvis. We're moving into Salambhasana. Shalambhasana, locust pose. So you're imagining you're going to lift everything off the ground except your pelvis. Ready? Inhale, lift, lengthen away from your toes all the way up through the crown of your head. From the center of your pelvis, extending in two opposite directions, getting more length, more extension. And exhale, release down. Deep breath. Take your hands underneath your shoulders and press yourself up. And come on to your heels just for a moment. And let's. Go into Virasana, hero's pose. You're going to take your thumb right to the center of your calf and draw a straight line, and then your feet are wider than your hips because you're going to sit down. So draw a straight line, sitting down. I know I made that look a little too easy. So if you need to grab something and sit on it, then do that. But let's come to the front of our wherever you're at. You might not be on a mat here. And your knees are straight out of your hip bones, gazing softly forward, or option for supta virasana, which means supine, lying down, which means you could take your hands behind you, tilting your pelvis, and feeling how that feels on your thighs. Maybe you come onto your forearms, moving gently. The knees stay connected with earth. And maybe you lie all the way down. Maybe you don't. Just choose what's right for you today, not yesterday, not tomorrow. Sometimes we hold a lot of tension in our thighs, so we're Letting that go. And if you are lying down, press down through your arms so that you can come up evenly. And now come on to hands and knees. Onto Vajrasana just for a moment. I'm excited, can you tell? Frog pose. Hands on the floor. Take your knees nice and wide. Nice and wide. And then you line up your shins, your lower legs, with, and your ankle with the knee. And then take your knees a little wider. 
So it's going to look different for every person. But you're not collapsed here. You're engaging the legs, squeezing them in towards each other. And then come on to your, well, you might stay here. Let's give you options here. And then you might come onto your forearms here. You might have your pelvis on the ground. If you do, then if you can make it there, then do so, please. And breathe openness into your inner thighs. Again, an opportunity to let go of any tension you've gathered into your inner thighs today. One more breath. Gather everything on the exhale, letting it go. And then walk yourself up. Bring the knees together and sit down. Spread your legs 90 degrees apart. Upavista Konasana. Angle, bowing forward angle. Wide leg, bowing forward angle. Press down with your hands right by the hips. Inhale, lift through the spine, and then exhale, hands out in front. And then you choose, okay, you may be on a prop at this point if your pelvis is moving backwards. Otherwise, if your pelvis has the option to go forwards, then you're going forwards. Keeping the kneecaps straight up to the sky, feet straight up to the sky. Bow. Feel the quieting nature of earth below you. Breathing it in. Letting go of any tension on every exhale. Lengthening those exhales even more. Walk yourself up. And then turn towards your left leg with your heart, with your heart, with your belly. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. And then bow over that leg. Get heavier on your right thigh, right sitting bone. Supporting this bow over your left leg. Inhale, come up. And slowly making your way all the way over to the right. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, bowing. So not being in any hurry, feeling into this. Left sitting bone grows heavy. Heavy and helpful. Now inhale back to center. And exhale, bow if you're bowing forwards. If you're not, then don't. Just stay right where you're at because you're lucky. You don't have to do anything else. Walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Press yourself up gently. To come out, take the hands to the insides of your legs. Bend the knees and draw your knees together. Draw your head down. In towards your knees. Let 
please let me know in the comments below how this is working for you. And click the like button if you like this video. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. You want more videos just like this. And please subscribe if you haven't already by clicking the subscribe button. For now, let's straighten our legs. Not done yet. Come down into Shavasana. Palms face up. Make sure that you're comfortable. And then gently close your eyes. You can stay here as long as you like. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to working with you again very soon. Namaste.